UCLA takes game two, nine to three, to even the series at one game apiece. And it started with their bats on fire. You love to see this response from UCLA, especially after yesterday, getting it going in the first inning and just manufacturing some runs with balls on the ground. Started with Kinsley Washington, Bree Perez, Delaney Wiz, and Maya Brady were all part of the party, kind of setting the tone and looking to get back into this series. The Bruins explode for four runs in the first inning. They chased Mac Morgan, they chased Marissa Schuld, and eventually would face Allison Royalty, but the hits weren't done yet in the fourth inning. Yeah, and those singles kind of open things up for the big bombs that we know that they're capable of. Of course, Bree Perez, her 10th home run of the season, a three-run moonshot. And then Delaney Wiz follows this up with a solo home run of her own. UCLA is just feeling good all the way around and just fed into the circle with Megan Faremo coming in on relief with five strikeouts. She was dialed in, only gave up one hit in her relief work. And this is the Megan Faremo of old going upstairs with the rise ball. I'm so excited for tomorrow. UCLA evening things up. Look at those hits for the Bruin. Their bats are alive. 16 hits, the most in a Pac-12 game this season this season for UCLA is a bunch. It is going to be an interesting game three, the rubber match between the top two contenders in the Pac-12. UCLA beats Arizona State 9-3, game three tomorrow at noon.